Hi, I'm Jeff Murrah. I want to welcome you to True Texas History. Today I'm going to be tackling the question of was Brushy Bill actually Billy the Kid? Um, and, and this is an area where there's been uh, some disagreement and some contention over the years. Um, but before I get to that, you know, Texas has always been the source of uh, some wild stories. Uh, you know, like, for instance, there's the story that uh, John Wilkes Booth actually uh, made it to Texas and lived in uh, Granbury. And there's uh, other people that uh, supposedly uh, came to Texas and uh, did a makeover of themselves. And uh, this is one of those stories uh, concerning Billy the Kid. Now, Billy the Kid and many of his activities uh, took place in Lincoln County, New Mexico. You know, uh, recently on some travels, I went through Lincoln County, uh, New Mexico, and uh, although there are parts of New Mexico that uh, are definitely arid and desert, uh, Lincoln County, uh, you know, it's situated in the valley, and there are a lot of trees there, and it's uh, quite lush, and that's uh, where Billy the Kid uh, engage in his activities. Now, the folks in uh, Heiko, Texas actually have a Billy the Kid Museum there because uh, there was a, a local fellow there uh, named Brushy Bill who, uh, when he turned uh, 90 years old, he told people that he actually was Billy the Kid. Now, uh, the story goes, uh, at least the Heiko version, is that uh, when Pat Garrett shot Billy the Kid, he shot uh, someone in the back. Uh, and uh, he walked on afterwards and never checked the identity. And uh, supposedly he killed the wrong man. And uh, the real Billy the Kid, who... Uh, he, he had some grievances against uh, law enforcement authorities. I mean, supposedly the governor of New Mexico was going to pardon him if he helped, if Billy helped them uh, to catch uh, a few key outlaws, and he did. Uh, and then the governor of New Mexico uh, issued an order for Billy to be hung and did not keep his word. Uh, that didn't set well with Billy. But... Uh, this man, Brushy Bill, he lived uh, there in uh, Heiko for many years. He was known as Brushy Bill. He was married. Uh, and apparently he never told his wife about uh, this supposed other identity. And uh, when one of the members of uh, Billy the Kid's gang tried to contact him, he turned him away uh, twice and finally uh, met with him secretly the third time, uh, mainly because, uh, as he claimed, that he had never told his wife about his true identity. Uh, and it was only when he got to be 90 years old that he revealed his true identity. And at that point, he wanted to uh, receive a pardon from the governor of New Mexico. So uh, contact was made with the governor and uh, they had someone... Uh, check uh, Brushy Bill's body uh, and he did have the same uh, knife wounds and bullet wounds that uh, Billy the Kid had uh, which raises the question you know, would someone go ahead and self-inflict knife wounds and shoot themselves just to be considered an outlaw uh, that's highly suspect and um in terms of, uh, he went to New Mexico and they took him to uh, key places there in the Lincoln uh, County area that, uh, and this fellow knew things that only Billy the Kid would know, uh, and the governor uh, apparently didn't get along with him and he never issued him a pardon. Uh, so Billy came back to Texas and actually uh, ended up dying on one of the city streets there in Heiko. Uh, you know, because old age will catch up with you. And he caught up with uh, Brushy Bill, otherwise known as uh, Billy the Kid. Uh, 
And, uh, you know, if you're one of those people say, well, gee, why don't they uh, dig up the supposed grave of Billy the Kid and check it out? Well, one, uh, Billy the Kid's not there. But number two, there was a flood that came along in Lincoln Valley and washed uh, many of the gravestones and graves away, including uh, what would have been Billy the Kid's grave. So there's no way to double check it. And... Uh, you know, in the days before internet and DNA testing, um, you know, a person could uh, leave an area where they were wanted and go to another area and uh, rebuild their whole identity and give themselves a whole new life, which is uh, uh, Brushy Bill did. Uh, I think that there's some compelling evidence that Brushy Bill may have been uh, may have indeed been Billy the Kid. Uh, you know, you hear about uh, all these outlaws, uh, and many of them do have connections with Texas, uh, and I hope to go ahead and cover some of those. Uh, I believe Bat Masterson does. Uh, one of the Clantons do. Uh, Billy Clanton was actually born in Texas. Uh, and that's another interesting story. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and cover the story about Brushy Bill, or Billy the Kid as they call him. And uh, there is a Billy the Kid Museum in Heiko, Texas that you may want to go ahead and check out. So uh, until next time, this is Jeff Murrow with True Texas History wishing you via con Dios, my friends. Goodbye.